welcome to this UK Data Service tutorial regarding our historical data collections. Data can be regarded as historical when they relate to a past time period or to past events. At some point in time, all data that are created become historical. The exact moment of where past ends and present starts, and therefore what is defined as historical, will depend on the research question. The UK Data Service hosts around 700 different data collections dating from before the 1960s, mainly from Great Britain and Ireland and their territorial subdivisions, but also international data. If possible, we also give advice where to find data on topics which our collections do not cover. Most of our studies we hold do not only contain the data, but also a study guide, which may document the historical context of the study's topic. It also provides the study's variables and features of the data, and a bibliography. In most cases, the data is available in a non-proprietary format, such as TEP separated values, and can therefore be used with both open source and proprietary software. A particular focus of the UK Data Services Historical Data Collection is on census and other population data. Our newest addition are the integrated census microdata, a database of individual census records digitized from the original census enumeration books, detailing characteristics for every person resident in Great Britain at each decennial census from 1851 to 1911. The integrated census microdata has consistent enumeration geography over time and standardized harmonized classification schemes over time for various census variables. The integrated census microdata can be downloaded via the purpose-built dissemination system that allows you to filter the 180 million individual records in the database on the basis of 20 variables before downloading the resulting selected records. The integrated census microdata can also be explored online as summary statistics and frequencies via a Nesta system. We also host the historical census collections, which includes a large collection of aggregated data from census and other official and semi-official sources. Integrated in this collection are the Great Britain Historical Database, the Digest of the Welsh Historical Statistics and the Database of Irish Historical Statistics, which offer a broad variety of data for researchers interested in social and economic history. A related online resource is HISTPOP, a collection of historical population reports, such as all UK census reports from 1801 to 1937, plus the Registrar General reports for England and Wales and Scotland from 1836 to 1920. Additionally, we also host a number of complete local census return transcripts. Other major data resources are a digitized collection of Domesday Book data, two web-based bibliographical resources on historical town and enclosure maps, and a digital library of the 19th and early 20th century directories. We equally hold many smaller collections which focus on narrow topics or local issues, such as data on popular protests in late medieval English towns on credit finance in the Middle Ages, on welfare regimes under the Irish Poor Law, on disease in the Royal Navy during the 19th century, or on the participation of Nottingham elites in civil society. Besides the many quantitative data resources, we have some qualitative collections of textual data or images, for example on the social history of alcohol in East Africa and the Edwardians. The large collection of sociological or anthropological studies hosted by the UK Data Service are also useful resources for historians. Especially qualitative studies using interviews for gathering evidence can be considered to be partly oral history studies, for example collections about auditors and auditing in the United States of America since the 1920s, about the Irish lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender diaspora in London or about educational strategies of the black middle classes. Most of our historical data collections can be accessed via the UK Data Service Discover portal and QualiBank. Some other resources are hosted on separate web areas. 
that's it. Thank you for watching.